and you can kind of see where the hot areas are. By far the coolest display I've ever seen on a space heater. It's really cool when you turn it on and off too. Bye. Wow, it already found the heater. That didn't take any time at all. I really like this space heater. This is one of the most unique space heaters I've ever used. I've used and tested a lot of space heaters. This is nice because it has instant heat in the front. It radiates the heat really well. It's completely quiet and it doesn't emit a bright light. So it works well in a bedroom when you're sleeping. It's not going to blind you or anything like that. And behind the space heater is completely completely cool so you don't have to worry about your walls getting hot or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it comes in the box and then how this is set up and how well it works. Well I think this is the happiest box I've ever seen. Cool packaging. It's kind of hard to see in the camera but this is kind of like um, just a, a screen and you can see that there's some things inside on the back. This is just kind of like a fabric. And then at the bottom of the box is this accessories box. So it's just the feet that come with it. You get the two feet. It looks like these just snap into place. Oh yeah, well that's super easy. Let's insert the other foot. I like that. And when you stand it up, it is at a slight angle. Go ahead and plug this in. This uses the Smart Life app. Here's the QR code for that. It also comes with a basic remote control and you will have to remove this plastic piece for the battery to work. So let's look at this display at the bottom. We'll go ahead and use the remote to turn it on. You can see it's got the M plus minus. Hi, <laughs> that's actually pretty, pretty cool. So let's go over the different modes for this space heater. So first we'll turn it on and it has a cool little graphic. Hi, so it's got the temperature 68 degrees Fahrenheit right now so we can and press the M button for mode. So right now it's focused mode, which means you set the wattage. So right now this is 1500 watts. If you go down to P2, that is going to be about a thousand watts. And then P1 is going to be 750 watts. Now let's go ahead and change it to space heat mode. So you can see the home 68 degrees. If we want it warmer than that, then we can go up. So we could say we want to heat up until it gets to 74 and then it will turn off at 74. Pretty cool graphics, I really like that. So it goes down all the way to 60 and it goes up all the way till 90. We also have a night mode button which just turns off the light so if you're sleeping with this in your room and you want to make everything dim or turn off the lights you can do that. It also has a child safety lock so if you press and hold this for three seconds then it will lock the settings. Now all of the buttons you press don't do anything and then you can unlock that. You can also turn it off and then lock it so that way your kids pressing the remote control cannot turn it back on. That's a great safety feature to have especially if you have young kids like me. There's also a timer button so if you press that it will show the clock icon and you can go up to as high as 12 hours. If you don't set the timer, it will automatically shut off after 8 hours. So with my thermal imaging gun, you can kind of see where the hot areas are for the space heater. You can see the cool points are about 430 degrees. The warmest points right now are about 476. And I'm filming this at about 5 feet away and it is really hot. I am starting to sweat because of how warm this thing is. You can see that the space heater doesn't emit any light. You can't really tell it's on other than at the bottom. You can see on the bottom it shows that it's on the highest setting, but other than that, there's really no way to tell it's on. Well, I guess the fact that it's really hot. Now I want to show you behind the space heater, it's 72 degrees. There's no heat at all coming from behind the space heater. That's really nice because it's safe. I'm not heating up the walls. I'm not gonna burn it if it's close to the wall like it is here. There's no heat coming from the back. Once you go in front though, you can see it's instantly hot on the carpet out in front. You can see it's, it's in the mid to high 90s. And then of course, the space heater itself is just super hot. I'm touching the fabric behind the space heater and it is not, I mean, it's, it's warm. Like I can tell that it's warm. 
but I am not going to burn myself. I can touch the metal. I won't touch it for very long. And then this front part of the space heater is heat resistant, so you can definitely touch it, but you won't want to touch it for a long time. But anything behind it, like a wall, is going to be perfectly safe. So I've got my Smart Life app open. I'm going to see how easy it is to add this to the app. To start, you just press and hold this M button, and it will beep and then this home icon will start flashing and that's how you know it's ready to pair. So I'm going to go ahead and just press the plus button to add a device and wow, it already found the heater. That didn't take any time at all. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. Up here it has my network settings already saved because I've used this app before. I'm going to press next and then it's going to take a while and connect to the app. So that was super quick and easy to add. I can customize the name if I want to. I'm going to go ahead and just click on done. Then it's going to open up the settings for the app. So you can see it already mirrors the settings on the heater. So it's three. So if I want to lower it, I can go down to one. And so now it's not going to be quite as hot, which is great because it really is hot. So here I can say focus heat or space heat. So right now I'll change it to space heat and it's set to 90 degrees or I can go Go back to focused heat and I can set the level one, two, or three. And then on the app, I have the same options to do child lock, sleep mode, and then a timer. I'm also able to change the units here. So if I want to use Celsius, I can go over here and then we go back to the space heat mode. And then you can see now the temperature is displayed in Celsius. And I can really easily adjust the temperature here to my liking. But I'm going to go ahead and change the units back to Fahrenheit. And with the Smart Life app, you can set a schedule. All right, so now I have added a scene to automate the heater turning on, and I can easily toggle that on or off. The Smart Life app also has some recommended automatic scenes. So here's one, automatic warming in cold weather. If you look at this, if it's less than 15 degrees Celsius, it will automatically turn on. Another one is to turn off the heating in the morning. So as soon as the sun rises, it will wait for an hour and then it will turn it off. By far the coolest display I've ever seen on a space heater. It's really cool when you turn it on and off too. Bye. This space heater was sent to me so I could do this review. And as I've mentioned, I've reviewed several space heaters and all space heaters are more or less the same in the fact that it uses resistance to create heat. So all space heaters are equally as efficient. The thing that sets space heaters apart are the features and the design. And I've got to say, this has a really cool design and it has really nice features. I love the display on the bottom of this space heater. It just looks really cool and it's so nice that you can connect it to the smart life app i use this app for several things in my home so it's nice that i can connect this to that app i'm a huge fan of this space heater i highly recommend it thanks for watching have a great day